What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be giving you a get book report review and a little walkthrough of the software. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you all the tips, tricks and strategies that I've learned to help me make passive income here online. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're serious about low and no content book publishing, then check out that link down in the description below to go to the LCB Vault. Within here, I add brand new trainings every single week on everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So, Get Book Report is one of my favourite softwares out there for tracking all my sales and everything when it comes to low content book publishing. I was using AK Reports probably around six months now, but because I had quite a few books, it couldn't handle how many books I had and was really slow. So I switched over to Get Book Report and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So to find Get Book Report, simply come over to Google and type in Get Book Report and it's going to be this first link just here. So if we go over to there, we can take a quick look at the sales page before we actually get into the software. Again, this is one of my favorite softwares to use when getting all the data from my books. And if we come down to here, pricing. So it's free for everyone for the first two weeks or free for everyone earning less than $1,000 per month on KDP. As soon as you hit past $1,000, it is going to be $19 per month, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. So let's go over to the software. We're going to go over settings first, because there's a couple of things that you might want to change. So in settings, you want to come here to currency and change it to your currency. I normally keep mine on USD. I do change it to GBP as well. This show marketplace filter drop down, I keep yes. Show table rows with no activity, I show yes. Show covers, I have no because I do a lot of videos where I'm sharing my results with get book report. So I don't tend to show my covers, you can change that. Leading time zone, yes. Play ka -ching for new earnings yes so this is what i like to have on so every time that i make a sale within get book report and i've got it open this makes that little ka-ching sound which i really enjoy and then if we keep going down we've got some more settings just here which you can change and you can just here add your seller not seller, sorry, your author central accounts. So you can keep track of it all just here. Now I'm going to blur mine out just there. Then we can refresh data, log out, delete and so forth. So that's the settings that I have. Now if we go over to today's tab, I'm going to run through. So it gives you the data on how much you've sold. So with today, this, this tab, I found it's not actually today. I found that it always shows me yesterday's which is really weird and i don't get why but nonetheless you're going to see your sales just here up the top your earnings by book so if we go to here we can change the earnings to units paid units and we can change the books to book author or marketplace so if we click on that you can see and then if we scroll down we're going to have all the books that you've been selling for that day so let's go back up and let's go to historical. So this is the tab that I tend to use the most because it gives me all the data that I want. Now here we can change the date. So we can do yesterday, last week, this month, last month, all these change by month, year or completely custom. So if you go on custom, you can change it to any date that you want. So let's go back to all time and then we can actually just choose the books that we want by book or by author and we can also do marketplaces so this is really great if you're running ads because we can just click amazon.com 
see all the books that have been selling on Amazon.com and then go run ads for those books on Amazon.com. And you can do that for all the other marketplaces as well. Then if we scroll down, we're going to see earnings per month. So if we click on this, you're going to be able to change it to units and paid units as well. So if we click on units, we can see all the units. And in December, I did close to 5,000 units sold. But I like to keep this on earnings, so let's change that back. Now if we scroll down to here, we got earnings by marketplace, and you can change these as well, like I said a minute ago. And then if we keep going down a little bit more, we have the earnings by marketplaces. And here you can change as well to units or author, books and marketplace. And then you're going to get all the details just here on all the books that have sold within that date range. So let's go back up to the top and check out ranks. So this is a pretty cool tool. But as far as I know, this only really works for... Um, Kindle books, not your normal books. And if we go down to here, we can choose all books up here by author, by book. And then here we can do paid ranks, ranks, free ranks. We can change that there by day, month or year. We can change to linear or log logarithmic. I can just about say that word. Let's go back to linear. And if we scroll down a bit more to here, we can do the launch comparison. So I don't really play around with this, but you can change the books just here. So no books selected at the minute. You can go through, choose one of your books. And then it's going to give you the data for your books just here. So current rank, today's change, peak paid rank, and peak free rank as well. Now with this part of the tool, I don't really use it. For some reason it's froze a little bit. So let's go all the way up to the top and let's go to the reviews tab. So in here, you can actually check your reviews if you have your Author Central account connected. So from here, you can choose the books that you want. So if we click on there, we can do it by book or author, search or analyze. And then we get to choose what type of ratings we want to see. We can see all the first stars or the one stars two stars, three stars, four stars, and so on. Newest first, oldest, best ratings first, or worst ratings first as well. So this is pretty cool because you can just go through and check all of your reviews. And then if we go up to the top, we have books just here. So what this part of the tool is going to do is just pull through all your most recent books as well. And it's going to show you everything just here so this is another part of the tool that i don't really use the only two that i do really use is historical and today because this gives me all the data that i need with this on historical i can go through oh too far down i can go through change the dates to pull up the data that i want so i might want to have a look at all the books that i've sold just over the last week so we could do there is no week option oh yeah there is just here so we could go to last week and it's going to pull up all my data just for last week we can see that i did 411 dollars and then if we scroll down we can see by marketplaces and if we go right to the bottom of the page we can actually see what books sold and which marketplaces so again this is the only tab that i do really use if you want to actually check out get book report there is going to be a link down in the description below remember it is literally free until you've reached a thousand dollars in royalties and then it's only 19 dollars per month I absolutely love this tool and I wouldn't be without it. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was using a completely different tool before this one, but it couldn't handle the amount of books that I have, and that is AK Reports. So if you want to check this one out as well, I will leave a link for this. This is a really great tool as well. I really like the UI. It's really clean and it just really looks good so this is the other one if you want to go and check it out go and check it out again i'm not using it because 
I have that many books and it doesn't really do its job very well when you have a lot of books. But again, I'll leave a link for this one as well down in the description below if you want to go and check it out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.